right, good morning everybody. Happy Friday. <clears throat> Welcome to today's Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. I am your host and pilot as always. Michael B. Today we are in the Cessna 172, the um, Skyhawk with the G1000 glass panels. We're going to depart from Hayward, runway 10 right, and we're going to turn out over towards um, the coast. Head down the coast, and we're going to land here at uh, Hearst San Simeon Airstrip, which is right down the road. Uh, and I'll advance the time here a little bit. Um, matter of fact, let's do that now so you, got, you all can see uh, kind of what we got uh, There we go. So basically, now well, it's still not like completely, you can, there's a road that goes up to Hearst Castle right here. And they did put this in as a POI. I don't think it was before, but we, maybe we'll be able to see it as we come into the airport. If not, maybe we'll do a flyover and check that out. Uh, so about an hour and a half in the air says um but the weather should be halfway decent um once we're once we're in the air there's no clouds or anything down here in san simeon so it should be a nice uh, scenic flight along the coast we're only going to get up to about nine thousand feet and then uh and then we're just going to cruise <clears throat> down to the west coast and over the Pacific Ocean and just follow. We'll pass by uh, Monterey, Big Sur. So hopefully, yeah, it should be a nice scenic flight today. Something nice and relaxing for a Friday morning. So we'll get started here in a few minutes. Get the aircraft started up. We have a bit of a taxi to go to, to 10 right. We gotta go all the way up over here. So it, it'll be a, a bit of a ride here at Hayward. No plans yet for Monday. I'll, I'll come up with our next. Um, I'm trying to figure out where to break it up because going all the way to uh, Cape Town, that's that's a lot of time in the air. <clears throat> might do it, though. I might just do the whole thing in one four and a half hours or something like that maybe we'll do that on monday i don't know i gotta look at the places along the way to see if there's a reasonable spot to land the dc6 or not so um we are on the southeast asia server there's your other proof here is today's route Minus, of course, the uh, I'm doing an IFR low altitude, but um, anyways, um, so there's only three waypoints. Four, I'm sorry, four waypoints. Yeah, it should be nice and scenic. Might be quiet today. It's Friday. Some people are either still waking up or already out and about getting their stuff done for the day. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in and get the aircraft started up on getting the air. Might have to adjust the time just a little bit more just to have a little bit more. We'll see. See what it looks like when we spawn in here in Hayward.
so it looks like it's going to be just fine. All right, let's... That going. Clearance delivery session November one six seven uniform Bravo IFS to Charlie November six six ready to copy. Oh, it, it automatically uh, called in for the clearance. <coughs> So 9,000 feet. Why does it do that? Let's go ahead and hit our bouncer. <clears throat> All right, so I know. All right, get our lights on as well. that all right to walk right in front of me. This is kind of strange because normally you take off from the other direction from 2-8 left. But uh, I guess they... <coughs> 10 right is... And 10 left are the two uh, departure landing runways right now. Well, it's only go on 4 o'clock in the morning. Wait, no. Yeah, 4 in the morning there. So I don't think anybody's here even at the airport.
Now, for those of you who don't remember, so this is not a uh, included. I I got the um, livery pack from uh, DC Scenery. Uh, so it's uh, it's nice to have something that looks a bit more realistic. Than I don't know why my uh, guidelines aren't showing up. Check that before we take off. We'll use the whole runway. Why not? All right. Uh, let me just double check to make sure. Yeah, they're on. I don't know why they didn't show up. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see now. Okay, just want to make sure that's all set. All right, I think we're all set. All right, let's go. Okay, yep, I had a feeling this is what was going to happen. I've heard some people say they were having problems with uh, getting the plane to fight. Um, uh, fly the... Um, Fly the magenta line. All right, we're just going to have to fly with the Use the heading mode. <clears throat> now, 
I was reading somebody was saying something about that on Captain Arash's Discord the other night. If it's a yeah, it's not working. Just under 30 nautical miles to go to get to our first nav point. Those coming right underneath us. Paradox. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure my plane doesn't stall on had some hiccups with the autopilot system this morning. There's no, it's not very windy. It's just, um, I've had issues with this plane before after taking off. It, it goes like into a, it noses up 
quite a bit and then it stalls and it's like you can't get it to recover but since since i don't know if it's been since uh the avionics update or whatever somebody somebody else was saying that that um <clears throat> over in captain arish's uh channel that they were having problems getting the plane to follow the magenta line so we're just using the heading mode uh to uh to navigate No, there shouldn't be. There's a tailwind at eight knots, according to this. It's kind of well, crosswind from the kind of this direction. So. How are you, Mick? Nice to see you here. Yeah, I just figured I'd do something kind of kind of different. We haven't flown in the 172 in quite a long time, and what better place to do it than in the Bay Area and <clears throat> head down the uh, coast to uh, San Simeon? Not miles. Okay. right out.
All right, we're almost there. I wasn't expecting this, those two clouds. See, part of the problem our, our trim is going up and up and up. trimming way, way up. Okay. Now we need some speed back. Yeah, it like nosed way up. Oh, planes and coffee, not a bad way to wake up. Yeah, true, true. All right, we're almost to our first down point here. <coughs> Now the question will be if I turn off the heading mode and put on the Now let's see if it turns up here if I'm gonna have to 
tell the plane where to go. Let's see if it'll take it now. Well, it looks like it was turning. I don't think I have the heading on, do I? Nope. It took it. All right. There we go. Okay. Now we're... Now it's working. But that first leg, it didn't... I don't know, maybe it's an altitude thing? I don't know. I have a weird situation. Alright, so we'll pass by... That is um, Santa Cruz is right here. We'll see uh, Monterey. We may not be able to see much of anything with these clouds. <coughs> Who knows? Maybe they'll disappear on their own accord. Now it's 
that's one wall. Losing power. Well, hopefully everybody's having a good Friday, ready for the weekend. Vic, I'm ready to get on the farm tonight and get some stuff done. Just go there. Is that your way of saying hello, Joseph? how it works now That's okay, Mick. He, he can he can say hello if he wants. He can There, you can kind of see where the we've got some coastal clouds, fog, whatever you want to call it. I was hoping we'd, the weather was clear, but apparently it isn't. Unless you get way out there in the Pacific Ocean.
Yeah, okay, Joseph. <coughs> your will too. Santa Cruz is right over there. With the left wing tip. Hey, Allison, how are you? Nice to see you here. Thanks for popping in. Reckon you enjoyed yourself at uh, Flight Sim Expo with the usual suspects. <laughs> Looks like it was a grand time was had by all. I wish I could have been there. It would have been nice to get out of town for a few days and Eat some good food and enjoy some good company. Flying in a real... Oh! Nice. So you did the... the I think they had the rides there at the uh, museum in the Stearman. Nice. Yeah, I was hoping to do one of those. If I'd gone down there, that would have been a been a great uh, great experience. Yeah, I saw uh, all the pictures everybody took. Sergeant staff and oh, you you got to fly. Wow, nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. What a, what an experience that must have been. Fly a real steerman. Nice. Yeah, I saw the pictures and and uh, last week or earlier this week, uh, Scruffy did a quick kind of chat stream showing some of the pictures and the videos and all kinds of fun stuff. It was yeah, looks like it was a great time. Just a little slight turn here coming up. Yeah, that that would have been that would have been an experience of a lifetime right there. Flying in a real steering. <laughs> Oh, you're still you're still in Texas. Wow, I thought you was already back home. I know some people kind of extended their stay and uh, stayed on a few days extra to to see some of the other sites. Go to the uh, Johnson Space Center there near Houston and um, and all that. So yeah, that would have 
but hopefully you have a safe journey from Fort Worth to back home in the UK. Yeah. Yeah, I, that that was I had like a whole itinerary if I was going to go, I wanted to hello Bella, go to the uh to the NASA center there and tour that and <clears throat> yeah, I was really hoping to hoping to go and do all that. Yeah, that would have been would have been an amazing experience too. All right, let's see if this thing actually turns. Looks like it's going on its own accord anyway, but we'll put it down just in case. All right, we've got 31 nautical miles to go to this one. Well, hopefully you don't have any flight cancellations heading heading to the to the east <coughs> but, uh, yeah nice to hear from you yeah I'm sure you're ready to get home and sleep in your own bed and <laughs> And all that stuff and see family and friends back home and... You know, sometimes vacations are nice, but then you're just like, I just want to sleep in my own bed, <laughs> shower my own shower, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, so we're almost near Monterey. That'll be off to our left as well off to the port side. Let's see it though. It's the world famous the greatest racetrack ever I'm gonna say there is over that are under the Fog and clouds thoroughly spoiled here. Yeah, good. Well, you deserve some <clears throat> spoiling. Nothing wrong with that every once in a while in life, you know? Everybody deserves it. Yep, take care. Have a safe trip home. Enjoy your flight. Hopefully, hopefully you get spoiled in the air as well. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Good to see you. There's the airport Monterey. There's the airport out in. Uh, why, am I, why am I drawing a blank here? Oh, starts with an S. I should know it too. I know it. Uh, K S. Salinas, I know it. I knew it. Salinas. 
I was gonna look it up, but it's something else. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be <clears throat> overcast here. Or foggy. Because usually in the morning you get this coastal fog that rolls in and then by about 10 or 11 or so it, it burns off and, and then it's nice and clear and it just that's what if you don't uh, have uh, um, sunscreen you get sunburnt real quick I used to get sunburnt all the time when I used to go to Laguna Seca what's the hum for there Amilla? Salinas, there's Monterey. Be not far from Carmel. Should have probably added some fuel in before we took off because we're we're not in danger or anything yet, but we're we're gonna be close to uh I had, uh, what did I have for dinner? I just made some ham and cheese sandwiches because it was, it's been muggy here. <clears throat> it's still, it, it, it looks like it's overcast, but I think it's the smoke from the fires again from, um, from the Midwest blowing out this way. We've had, <clears throat> I think a day or two ago, we had the um, air quality alert um, telling people to stay indoors only go outside if you absolutely had to, but don't do anything that would exert your uh, yourself. Um, yeah, I just I've been eat, I, that's what I had because I just didn't feel like cooking because it was just like uh, it would have been too too hot in the apartment. It was already hot because of the humidity and everything. So yeah, it was just a it was a mess. I just had something simple. Oh, wow, that was... Well, I wasn't expecting that. We still got another. Yeah, it it just I can't see. I always judge, you know, like when I look out my my sliding glass window here, <clears throat> out in the parking lot. If it, it, how bad, if, how far I can see across town. Now, if I can see the radio towers on the other side of town, then it's a pretty good day. But if it's if it's overcast, foggy, or whatever, and I or if it's just pouring down rain, I can't see it. Then it's you know, then I know it's it's pretty bad. But I, at least that's how I judge it. Um, but yeah, it's it's been kind of. Uh, I think it was Tuesday. I think I got the. Uh, it was like Tuesday night, I think, or two Tuesday. I, it was after I wrapped up the. F it was Tuesday, sometime Tuesday, or I, I know it was earlier in the week. I got the alert on my phone saying that the air quality had gotten worse and that to stay inside as as much as possible, unless you know you had to go out to, but don't do you know don't go outside and exercise because it'll 
make your breathing a lot worse so yeah it was uh yeah <clears throat> i've been in a i've done a flight or flown through an area where there was a fire and it, it did it was um they did a pretty good job with it yeah i would agree with that all right 13 nautical miles to go to the now point Our rig is behind us now I missed what Monterey is yeah it was really bad I mean it's still kind of iffy here it's not thick right now but it could change you know with little to no notice, it could get worse. Uh, um, but maybe the most most of it is gone, and just kind of dissipated. We've had some rain, so it might have kind of cleared it out too. We were supposed to get. Um, more storms overnight, uh, but it didn't really ever materialize. Or if it did, it was just a little bit, uh, yeah. Well, I didn't know, I, I didn't know about the fires until I got the alert on my phone saying that there was, you know, more smoke heading this way from the fires. It's amazing to think that it travels that fast from the Midwest. I remember when I was up in <clears throat> up by Redding there for the wildfires years ago, <clears throat> and it, it just—it's amazing how quickly you get surrounded by the smoke, and even driving on the ground, it, it's—you know—you have to go very slow because if you, especially on those old logging roads, if you take a wrong turn, you're going off the. No, Redding, California. That's no Redding. Up, uh, up by Northern California. Well, it's in Northern California. Because we went there, and then we went to out to that little town called Hayfork, and stayed there for seemingly forever to help with the fire, the firefighting. Uh, when I was in the National Guard, still, and there was times where we were driving around because we would go out me and another medic would go out and we would kind of hang out in case any of the soldiers got injured or or whatever and um yeah it was just like really <clears throat> slow driving because if you if you went too fast you could easily take a wrong turn and off the side of the mountain you go rolling down and uh, that'd be the end of that <laughs> So, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, Mick knows, <laughs> Mick knows that he's not even from that ready. <laughs> he knows the other Redding though. <laughs> Yeah, I was really excited to see, uh, I was hoping to, I was looking forward to watching you guys truck out of there and head up to Canada, but then you had all those problems again, and
had a perfect game against the A's the other night. Most of the MLB has a perfect game against the A's. What are you talking about, Amela? <laughs> uh, they, they're, uh, <clears throat> the ownership now of the A's is just turning it into a hot mess. And, yeah, it's, it's crazy. The, them and trying to move down to Las Vegas. They've been mucking around with that. I don't know. It's just, it's sad to see a, uh, see them back the way they They seem to think, well, everybody thinks that, and it, it solves it in the short term, but in the long term, it's, it's, it's not gonna, they'll do kind of like what the, the Tampa Bay Rays did, and, and they'll, they'll get a, the, or no, the Marlins. I'm sorry, the Miami Marlins um, do, and, and they'll they'll get a team together. They'll win the World Series, and then they'll go into a slump for another twenty years or something. You know. Well, at least that in theory, that's what they should do, but they won't because they just don't. They're not that smart. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a once great franchise. I mean, we had a lot of great players over the years there. We, we Reggie Jackson played for the A's, uh, Ricky Henderson. Uh, yeah, they've had a lot of good players over the years. They just uh, you know, just never they never capitalized on it. And, and and Billy Bean, for for all of his uh, flaws, I think he had a, a good idea, but nobody ever wanted to to listen. They they didn't want to try something different, you know. Yeah, lots of people's teams never do very well. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, if Boston could do it, but see, they, they don't, the problem is, is that, you know, once a team wins the World Series, then, you know, then agents and players start demanding more money for the, for, for their players, you know, for, for what they do. And then it just, it spirals out of control again. Slight turn coming up. Cubs are sitting second from bottom. Yeah, see, they, they had some good seasons, and then it's just gone back to, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, all right, should be making a turn here, get a little bit inland. Well, the weather's kind of clearing up, so we might be able to see First Castle. It'll be off to the left. We might catch a glimpse of it. Awesome. Yeah, it's it's uh, the ups and downs of, of sports. You know, a team starts off well, and then it all falls apart. Or they do they go undefeated, and they get into the playoffs and get their butts kicked. How does that happen?
Uh, yeah, the, Bra the Braves had some really good years for quite a long time. I mean, they had great pitching. They had uh, great hitting. Uh, they were, in theory, the team to beat, and then they kind of beat themselves. You know, they kind of folded there in the postseason. They should have had, honestly, with the talent they had, I think they should have had more World Series wins. But uh, they just, they couldn't. Um, All right, there's that slight turn now. Uh, yep, there we go. All right, and see the heading is now one. Nationals soon be catching up. Yeah. See, the Nationals, another team. They had a great team for a while. They won the World Series, and then it just... It's like, what are you, what are you guys doing? I, I think a lot of it's down to money. You know, when players or their... Well, it's their agents start demanding more money, and then... Hey, Infido Farman, how are you? Um, you know, you, you can't afford. Oops. Let's see. Uh, 36 nautical miles. So I know pretty soon we're going to have to drop some altitude. Airport should be just on the other side of this. There's the coastal highway there. Yeah, doing okay. Just uh, plugging along. That's all I can do. Let's see if we're close enough to call them and oh, nope. Can't even send them my email. Hmm. Well this is gonna This is gonna be an interesting uh, situation I guess. Let's see. Just under 34. Okay. Yeah, so it's just on, it should be on the other side of this. Yeah, I, uh, I'm doing okay. Just, uh, Trying to trying to get by, That's, you know, like most everybody else in the world today. Padre, oh Giants, definitely. Oh Padres. Ooh. ooh. I haven't really followed them in a while. I haven't I haven't really caught up. In I I don't. I used to really be into sports, and after a while, I just I kind of gave up on it because it was just um, I don't know. I just lost interest in. It. I I love the Giants. Don't get me wrong, but <coughs> excuse me. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't followed them closely in quite a while. Alrighty. I don't think we want to go too fast to 4,200. We don't want to. We don't want to crash into those hills there either. We'll have a nice leisurely descent. No, I, I used to be all... It, it, it just was so much energy that was... Uh, I don't want to say for nothing, but it just it wasn't a very... Um, uh, I think I'm going to not expedite because I don't want to crash. You may be giving me some bad information here. Bad instructions. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it is a, it's a different experience at the ballpark with everybody around you and you know, it it is a I think a, a more uh interesting time. Or at least it used to be. It's uh, <clears throat> it's so expensive now that it's maybe maybe these mountains aren't as high as they they appear. Maybe forty two hundred feet is acceptable. But I, I'm almost positive the airport's just on the other side of that. Yeah. We're almost to 42 here, getting there. Start putting some mixture in. For the shopping to come. <laughs> folks <clears throat> you know it's almost that time so we uh, get ready to uh, prepare us for arrival here in San Simeon thank you all for being here today appreciate it hopefully you've enjoyed the flight thus far So I'm guessing what you mean by that, Joseph, is you're waiting for your mother to get home with the groceries. Jody's doing phenomenal. She flew, we flew Monday night. 
You can ask Jody. She'll tell you how she's getting on with it. She's doing great. She's... Finally, my blue badge arrives soon. My dad ordered it online. Oh. Alrighty. No, we are 4200. Okay. It seemed like we were kind of bouncing there. Why is it nosing up? All right, thirty five hundred. keep that at about 200 feet per minute I'm having a bad feeling about this little area right here in front of us because we might be getting too low too soon Is it going down like see now it's getting kind of weird yeah I think I'd rather wait till we get over this Yeah, she told me. But she had, she had downloaded the update and then didn't restart the sim. So she, <clears throat> I told her always, anytime you do an update or anything, always restart the sim and then everything should be fine. Well, I wish they'd make up their mind. farther do we got to go 13 nautical miles yeah I I always anytime I if I purchase anything or if I download anything I always restart the sim because that's the Make up your mind. All right.
know it's inland. See if I get in the right direction. I think I. Yep. All right, let me get ready to <clears throat> land this thing. Be able to see her castle. It's up in the hills there. Kind of tucked up in there. Why would it tell me to go to 155, which would have taken me way out, away from the airport? <laughs> Too fond of this approach. It's like we got to go over this. Yeah, we're way high. We're going in way fast. And only now that I see the lines there. All right, we're gonna make it stick. go got it did it <laughs> all right I'm back myself entire flight crew I'd like to welcome you to San Simeon California local time is 
dull looking smoke covered turret and Hello, uh, 172 Juliet Hotel. Getting a little. All right. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I'll take a butter. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, let's get the. Let's see, the autopilot should be off. Let's get that off. That's off. Why a little. All right, let's go ahead and pull on over there. Oh. Thanks, Joseph. That wasn't too bad for... By the seat of our pants. Landing there. Dodgy instructions. and Yeah, local time actually here is 5.14 in the morning. It's Friday, finally. Everybody's ready for the weekend. Full service station here. Look at that. Might as well pull it up to the gas, the gas station, the fuel station, petrol, whatever you want to call it. The Av Gas. <laughs> like it doesn't want to move there we go now it wants to move there we go all right let's go ahead and put the parking brake on uh we're doing Canada Day tomorrow well yeah I would hope they would <laughs> I would hope so end the flight here well you know what we forgot to do uh, clear the runway oh, turn that off too. all right well I guess we're just gonna have to off well that's all right anyway that'll do it for today folks thank you all for being here greatly appreciate it oh it looks like we're ending on on uh <laughs> good old uh some ads so well we'll let those play out and then we'll we'll end um anyway thank you all for coming in thanks uh Cessna 172 Juliet Hotel for popping in and saying hello. Appreciate it. Nice seeing everybody here. I guess that includes you, Joseph. Contrary to what you might be told. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're, uh, we're all set to go for, for today. Let's see. Uh, we'll wait for the... Uh, <coughs> I think the ads are done, but okay i think it's i think it's the ads are done but is anybody seeing any ads that is not a subscriber or a, a mod any ads playing Yes, no, maybe. 
Oh well, I think I'll just go ahead and get ready to end the stream then. Uh, anyway, thank you all for coming in and hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed today's flight. <clears throat> nice to see everybody here. And I will be in touch about Monday. Well, let me try to figure out something. Whether we're good. Uh, um, yeah, well, no, I fly a bunch of different stuff. I, I fly the DC-6. I fly jetliners. It was just I hadn't hadn't done a flight in a while and just figured out oh, today would be a good day it's something nice scenic little flight down the coast in california <clears throat> so yeah it is something different so um take care Amela. thanks for being here so yeah uh do enjoy the rest of your friday morning afternoon evening early saturday for some folks already around the world i have been and always shall be your host and pilot uncle b until next time peace live long and prosper